Welcome everyone, great to have you back and great to be heading into a new month of April 2017, start of a new financial year and also start of the first sign of the zodiac. Now, April has so much retrograde frenzy with five retrogrades either on the go or starting this month. I'm in fear of putting my own car into reverse gear, but enough of the jesting. Oh, genuinely, there's a lot of planets uh, going in retrograde motion. Later on, I'll come back to which planets they are and which astrological signs they most affect and govern, although we'll all be affected by it. Now then, April is governed by the fire sign of Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, as I've already said, represented by the Emperor card in the tarot. Aries is also part of the cardinal signs, the others being Capricorn, Cancer and Libra. Cardinal signs are known for making things happen. They are known as what we call the initiation spark, if you like. Now, the almighty sun is traveling through the sign of Aries, entering Taurus on the 20th of April. Okay, for April, I must mention the area of relationships that have been affected for all of us. And the Venus retrograde has been the main culprit because it's retrograding and has been retrograding for some weeks already. And this has caused some level of confusion, misunderstandings and miscommunications within our closest friendships and our relationships. It continues to retrograde through Aries, going backwards, re-entering Pisces once again on the 3rd of April. In my opinion, Venus retrograding in Pisces always makes us emotional, oversensitive and prone to leading us to conclusions about our connections that are not quite the true picture. Please try to overcome this uh, by not reacting to what provokes you and certainly think, step back, hold it before you rush in and do or say something you later regret unless you've already done that just till Venus goes direct and that will be from the 16th of April onwards and after that within a couple of months harmony should be restored however there's another three retrogrades which start in April which are important to mention so these are the signs that they affect the most although it will affect these retrogrades will affect all of us in some way Capricorns your ruling planet Saturn is retrograding in Sagittarius from the 6th of April through to the uh, 25th of August. Then we have communication, travel and business affected, which is overseen by Mercury, governor of Gemini and Virgo, retrograding in Taurus from the 10th of April through to May the 4th. That's a, a little bit of a shorter one, as it always is. Pluto, planet of power transformation and regeneration ruler of scorpio retrogrades in capricorn from the 20th of april through to the 28th of september that's quite a long one lastly jupiter already retrograding and has been for some months already jupiter ruler of sagittarius continues its retrograde through libra till the 9th of june five retrogrades mm, leaving many of us feeling a tad held back looking to the past feeling at a standstill every now and again it's a time to hold it. Think about your options. Don't act with thoughtlessness. Simple. Think about what you're going to do before you do it. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. Running out of time here, so lastly, but importantly, for the first part of April, up to the full moon in Libra, on the 11th, it's all about expanding our lives, putting energy out there to attract and draw to yourselves all that you wish for, or that you desire to happen in your life for the future, and cosmic ordering if you like that kind of thing. Then it's all about clearing, cleansing the way to the next new moon, which is on the 26th in Taurus. After that new moon, of course, we're back into that new expansion energy again. Okay, gotta wrap this up but you can catch me live on screen each week with your questions or if you want to, again, like my regulars, book a session through my website. Do join me on Facebook and Twitter and thank you to all of those of you that already have. Have an amazing April and a fantastic Easter to all of you wonderful people. Bye for now, see you next month.